Um, do a lot of circles. <laughs> no, but uh. <laughs> How's everyone doing? Swayze back with another episode of Rocket League Decision Making, a video where we look at what's going through someone's mind as they do really cool things, really bad things, or really mediocre things, and we check that out. Today I am here with Cowboy Kyle 216 Cowboy Kyle, how are you? Doing pretty good, man. How are you? Uh, living the dream every single day. Kyle, representing the great city of Cleveland. That's fantastic. But more importantly, why you're here. How many hours do you have in this game? I got about 11 hours here in Rocket League, so I'm fairly a noob, fairly a noob. <laughs> um, we, we did play a few warm-up games. How do you think they went? Um, they went okay. I uh, was kind of showing the ropes a little bit of uh, some of the things I did, but... Uh, did not think I played that well. Okay. That's, that's, uh, it's difficult to assess oneself, that is for sure. Um, so with 11 hours, I know you told me a lot of those hours came a long time ago. A long time ago. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So that was probably around the time, um, Xbox launched Rocket League. Probably played it almost every time. Every night I had a chance to get on for a little bit of time and uh, had a great time playing it for sure. Okay. Um, did you? So, being that you haven't played too much recently, when you did play, did you play competitive? Oh yeah, we. Uh, I would play with a couple of friends and we would make sure to have a couple of warm up games like we did tonight, and uh, then we would hop straight into competitive. We'd probably play a lot of twos. And uh, if we had a third, we would hop into threes. Okay. Do you remember where you were ranking? Um, we were probably top silver, low gold. Okay. Do you feel like you would be, you could get back in that area now that you've taken a few years off? Uh, yeah, I'm for sure. If I uh, put the time in, I'd be able to get right back where I was at, for okay. sure. I think uh, this game is very... Uh, one of those games where, unless you're constantly playing it, uh, you kind of lose some of your skills. Um, compared to like other games, like I think you can pick up a shooter and constantly play a shooter at a high level. I do not think you can do that with Rocket League. I'll be honest, considering I'm making videos for this, I feel like that is a fair assessment. Um, so you mentioned when you were playing a little bit more, uh, you would normally play twos. Do you prefer twos over other game modes? Ah! Uh! Maybe not. No, I kind of like I like twos because it leaves a little bit more open. You don't kind of have a guy sitting back. You know what I mean? Uh, with threes, I think uh, I think that's actually the way the game is meant to be played. Okay. So, um, if a game has a certain mode that should be played, I think that's the way it needs to be played. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll ask this just more out of curiosity for myself. Do you ever play any of the extra game modes like Rumble or Drop Shot or Hockey or anything? I've played some of them. No, they're pretty fun. Like, uh, Rumble is kind of crazy. It's like Mario Kart, you know what I mean, for Rocket League. Yeah, it so is So I think it can get it can get pretty wild in there. Uh, I haven't messed with Drop Shot. I did mess with Basketball when it came out for a little bit, the hoops. But uh, okay. other than that, no, I haven't really messed with the other modes. Um, so moving along, more just trying to build your player profile. Do you ever do any free play or any training or anything? Um, Every now and then I'll hop into those type of modes just to kind of drive around and kind of get an idea of movement. Because I think sometimes you can't get that type of movement playing a regular game because you're so focused on making the right shot or making the best defend. I completely agree. I really do. Um, so... Just even with just free, like, would you ever do any of the training packs as well? Um, I've messed with some of them. Like, uh, like, I think uh, one of the harder things to do in this game is aerials. So I think like that stuff like that is uh, is uh, going into those modes where the ball gets launched and you kind of just practice your aerial shot. I think that's those modes are fantastic. Like, um, but it's like you said, putting in the time for that stuff. 
I'm going to transition into uh, what do you think your biggest weakness is as far as an 11-hour Rocket League player? Not necessarily, you know, what you think you're terrible, but, like, what do you what do you think for someone that might be, you know, mid-silver to low-gold? Um, uh, probably what do, what understanding do positioning. Okay. Uh, for sure. Yeah, like, positioning, I think, is huge. Like, uh, understanding... Um, Hey, this is where my teammate's going to be. This is where I need to be. Um, and you can always have that idea, uh, but I think some of it comes down to practicing, paying attention to seeing how the ball moves, stuff like that. Um, understanding how if this person is trying to do this, this is what I need to be doing in response. I think I'm going to revisit that as I get to one of my later questions. But the flip side of that, what do you think you do best? Uh, and it might be... Uh, what our team, what our opponents are doing right now, is it is it trash talk? Because they're definitely they're definitely oh, talking yeah. a lot to each other. Uh, no, trash talk is not something I'm good at. But <laughs> uh, I think uh, one of the things I would be think I would like to think that I'm good at is kind of having a read sometimes of when it is good to try and take a shot. Okay. Um, but that all depends. I know one of the things I used to do really well when I played do twos was maybe not necessarily scoring, but was setting up, like getting the ball in a good spot to uh, for somebody to come in and score. Okay. Um, so do you feel like, considering all that, you have a certain play style? Do you like hanging back? Do you like being up? Or do you, are you well-rounded? Uh, I think I like to hang back. I think that's always been kind of my play style. I like to assess the situation. I think a lot of that actually probably just comes from uh, other gaming stuff. When okay. it comes to certain things, I've always been kind of in the back right. and kind of assessing situations and moving from there. Well, fantastic. Uh, uh, one, two more questions before we go. Um, do you ever watch uh, any higher level Rocket League? Do you ever watch any pros, any streams, anything like that? Yeah, I like to catch out some of the Rocket League Pro stuff. Um, I think some of that stuff is absolutely insane, what they do. Um, and it's... You want to aspire to try and play like that? You know what I mean? Like, I'm getting older, you know what I mean? I'm going to be 31 this year, and <laughs> now I don't have the, the reflexes to play like some of that anymore. But if I can take and watch anything that they're doing and try and incorporate in my game, I think that's great. Um, I think a lot of players try to do that, and... Uh, emulate what they're seeing the pros are doing uh i think that's re really well said on top of videos being that you don't do too much with rocket league do you ever you know head to the subreddit do you ever read anything about it do you ever see it pop up in the news or is it just hey when my friends are on or when i'm feeling some free play or or the pros are playing that's my only interaction with rocket league well, if I see that the uh, I have a friend on, I'll try and get on and play. But uh, contrary to popular belief, as much as I don't have playing this game in the 11 hours, I am sub to the Rocket League uh, Reddit, so it does pop up in my feed every day. And I uh, completely enjoy seeing the highlights and other things like that. So like, I try to keep up with that stuff. Fantastic. I think that helps us build an awesome player profile. What we're going to do is we're going to watch that gameplay back Take a look at a few moments that were key in uh, deciding that outcome. And next time everyone hears your voice, we'll be, we'll be deep in it, all right? Sounds great. Perfect. We'll be right back. I am with Cowboy Kyle 216 Cowboy Kyle, how are you doing today? Doing pretty great. How are you, man? Not bad. Uh, before we even get started, before I hit play... The first thing I'm actually going to bring up is not necessarily a key decision, but I just want to know your thought process behind it or perhaps your lack of knowing that, that, that it's changeable. But do you want to talk about your camera settings for just one moment? Yeah, for sure. Um, I'm pretty new, new, so like I tend to probably keep ball cam on a little bit too much. Okay. And then um, I know that I've been... Recently, when I played a little bit, I've been trying to take it off a little bit more just to try and help with angle and positioning. Okay. Um, but it's just one of those, like, you get set in the motion and you're not, I'm not trying to focus on it too much. I'm just like, all right, let's go. Let's try and do what we can and then worry about incorporating that later into the game. 
So do you know that you can actually like pull your camera back? Uh, no, I didn't even know that was a thing. Probably, uh, probably push in on the control stick probably brings it back. I'm sure. Um, so if you go into your options, there's totally a way to mess with your field of view and the depth and all that stuff. I'm going to cycle through real quick. So this is my camera angle. And okay. I want to say right off the bat, you're going to notice that there's some room behind my car compared oh, yeah. to your car. Um, and it's yeah. just, that's, that's what brought it up, uh, initially. I just wanted to see if, because quite often people that haven't played too often don't fully have, um, like, the knowledge that they can change their camera settings. But let's jump into it, all right? The first moment of this game comes pretty quickly, and I'll be honest, Kyle, I did my best to pick out things that you did well. For example, that's a good demo there, but the first key moment is is a rough one. I want to know with this ball coming back with right now, guy right there, what are you thinking right here? So my think process here is I'm trying to get back as soon as I can over the to try and defend the goal. Okay. Um, and I I'm trying to essentially try and swing a six swing around. Um, I guess the other option I could have had was to maybe just try and come at it head on and try and just knock it off to the left of the to the left instead of trying to just come around and actually block it. Okay, so we're going to watch the end of this this clip. Do you remember what happens? No, I actually don't. Okay. Uh, Kyle, I'm not going to lie to you. It's, it's not nice great. Bit. It is a <laughs> bit of a whiff, but we got it out of the way. So I'm yeah. going to ask you, um, normally I go, are you happy with that outcome? Simple enough, that's probably a no. So I'll ask, what would you have liked to have done differently? Well... I would have liked to have hit the ball. Fair. And uh, uh, but um, maybe at the next time, just try and come at it at a better angle. Like I okay. think uh, panic mode probably kicked in, and I'm just like, oh, I gotta get here. I gotta try and make a stop. And uh, that's I'm sure that's exactly what happened. Uh, I, I I don't think you're wrong, uh, and I think next time you are gonna handle it a little bit better. I want to know that ball's right there. You appear to be flipping away. What's going through your mind in this scenario? So when I see this and I when I play Rocket League, I go, I don't have a clear cut and play on the ball right now. So I think it's better for me at this point to kind of do what I can to try and move back and then react to the ball being played from them. Because okay. if I try to make a if I try to make a play on the ball where we're stopped here in the video, um, I'm either a going to miss and if i miss then i'm going to just leave a wide open shot for the for that player okay let's keep it going that ball's going to come over the top he gets an early touch on it he scores over you i want to know even with you turning in that scenario which i'm going to be honest i think that's the appropriate thing to do i think that's right i think he just got a quick touch on it are you happy with that outcome understanding that they scored but are you happy that you turned to play defense there? I think ultimately I would still, even if I was trying to make the best play, I think I still would make that same play. Okay. Um, but maybe just try and be a little bit more aggressive on the ball after I like made the swing to try and be a little bit more defensive. Um, I do a one thing that I've noticed even in just my gameplay alone when I play Rocket League is that sometimes I get way too defensive Okay. And I'm just waiting for the ball to come to me so then I can make a reaction. And maybe that's just my play style um, coming out and showing um, maybe things I need to adjust to make my play style uh, be a little bit better. And I think you mentioned that in the first part of the video where when you were playing twos and more so threes, you tended to hang back a little bit more. Correct? Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. correct. Um, I And. For your, I don't think that's a, a, a bad type of play style. I really don't. Which actually is going to bring us into moment number three, which is uh, an underrated defensive maneuver. And I want to know what you were thinking here in about three seconds. So right here, guy on your right, tell me what you're thinking right now. So, again, I'm going to go back to that idea, the mindset of I could try and go and make a play at the ball. It looks like if I, you know, I have the, I don't have much boost, you know what I mean, or I could try and flip up to make a shot, but I don't think I'll make it. So I think ultimately I'm looking at, hey, 
uh, if I can tell from the replay, I think you're down. You're down by the goal. So if I can get a block here, maybe set up on the car, give you a chance to maybe make a turn to come back. So if the play gets bad, or I miss or whiff on a block, yeah, it gives you a chance to come back down to help me out. And if not, you know, if if I do get the block, then that's great. And then maybe I can turn around and maybe then make a play on the ball. So uh, I think you just nailed two things. Uh, which is crazy impressive for someone that doesn't really play anymore. Um, and for someone with uh, 11 hours in that range, um, number one, you, the idea here is that you want to get back. You want to make sure that your car is in between the goal. Uh, number two, especially with doubles, the whole defensive idea of doubles in Rocket League at this current time, 2019, doubles defensively is one person challenges and they don't necessarily have to win the challenge, but someone, their teammate needs to be there to follow up to win the next challenge. Quite often that first person is putting uh, pressure on someone in a scenario so it's easier for the next person. And I think you just said that in a different way and that's awesome if i truly believe that if you were to keep playing rocket league you would excel quickly um just by watching your gameplay and, and talking to you but i'm gonna play the clip here you're gonna do something and i want to know if you're happy with it so right here we're gonna see that guy on the right you get in the way you bump him he now has problems of getting that ball out and your teammate gets to come in and make a play are you happy with that outcome with with that uh bump right there I actually think that bump could have been a little bit better, honestly. <laughs> it was just kind of like uh, I got in the way. I think it. I did what I think I needed to do to help out with the team there, just re-looking at it. Okay. Um, and it looks like you actually came in. You actually made an, you made an attempt at a nice shot. just didn't go our way. It was a little wide a little bit. It was close. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. But um, I think maybe if I get a little bit uh, more aggressive and hit him a little bit harder, maybe it helps out too. So. Okay. Um, I, I think there was definitely potential for a demo, but even something that simple, just a bump, is so big in Rocket League. It really is. Anything you've noticed so far that really seems to stick out to you? Just kind of, um, just actually rewatching it and seeing where I'm at in, uh, in a court, and I'm, I'm trying to think of the right word, but like where the ball's at, you know? Okay. Um, again, like I, I think I mentioned it earlier, just like that positioning is so huge and, um, you know, like you think you're going to be in a spot. So we're like, so right there, just right there, you were kind of trying to center the ball for me and I'm just not in a great position to do anything with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and that I think comes down to just my lack of skill and playing, you know what I mean? To where I'm waiting for a ball to kind of rest easy in to try and come in to make an easy score where yeah. sometimes I need to just try and go after it and make, you know, get up there and take a shot. Uh, moment number four, though, is actually right here. We're going to backtrack a little bit. So right here, the ball's over the top. You're going to bump into a teammate, which is not a bad bump. You turn. You look like you're going out. Tell me, what are you thinking here right now, Cowboy Kyle 216? Well, Swayze, I am thinking I don't have a shot at this ball. I can either run up and try and make a play, or I can sit back and defend. Um, I know I just knocked into you, so instinctively I'm probably going, oh, no. I need to stay and play defense because I probably just knocked my teammate out of position. So um, I probably say I go forward, but um, yeah, just the, the, the bump probably is just like, I'm probably freaking out that I just bumped into my teammate. So again, I'm just going to play this. I'm going to ask you if you're happy and then, and then I'll, I'll give you some of my thoughts, but you go out, you get in the way, you make a good block. Are you happy with how that turned out? Despite bumping your teammate, uh, and uh, and, and getting in the, way. I'm in the I would say I'm in the middle with that one. Okay. Um, just in the sense of, hey, I went out, I made a challenge on the ball, but I maybe I I personally feel I probably could have challenged a little bit better. Okay. And maybe that's just hopping up, you know, getting a little bit of boost in the air. You know what I mean? Just something that isn't what I did. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I still. I got a touch on the ball. I got a block on it. They didn't get a shot, and I was able to keep the ball in play of in, in sorts. But okay. I think it probably still could have affected a little bit better. So I mentioned it uh, just a moment ago that in doubles especially, one person needs to be challenging constantly. Um, 
And being that you kind of gave me a little bit of a love love tap while I'm in goal, it really kind of at that point, I, I'm knocked back a little bit more. It just kind of signifies to you, hey, someone needs to go. In that scenario, I wrote down challenge opponent good, you know, uh, I, and, and I think that's definitely the right move. As you said, as time goes on, maybe that challenge is a little bit better. That 50-50 comes a little bit more in your favor. But hey, for right now, Cowboy Kyle, I think that was that was pretty good. So here we are at the end of the video, right? I asked two questions to every guest. Number one, would you change anything? Um. Oh, I'm sure that'd be. I would probably change my camera now that I know about it for sure. Um, I think actually having that extra, just that you know, that probably adds. I don't know how much to your field of view. Like yeah. it's huge. You know what I mean? Like, um, like that's such a big deal. Like just to be able to see and like even you probably be able to catch things behind you as well. Um, like yeah, just from you changing cameras right there, and you can just tell the difference of field the field of view. Like I think I think that's huge. Um, and maybe Fantastic. probably some other things. <laughs> yeah, and I would probably change a couple other things too. Just you know, um, maybe trying to be a little bit more aggressive and not play so defensively. Okay. Um, I, I, I think those are good things to change, and that's part of the reason that we watch this replay. Number two, overall, are you happy with the decisions you made in this match? I would probably, if I gave a percentage, I'd probably be at a, maybe a 60%. And I'm not trying to be that guy that says, well, you know, I understand what my rank is. I understand what I see from the game and what I do as a player. And, um, Obviously, you know, I can improve, you can improve too, but I think what I did on some of the decisions that you pulled out here, I think I would have still ultimately done the same thing over. Um, I think sometimes Rocket League, like, like any video game, is, is such a reactionary thing, and you're going to hopefully do the right thing, um, let's say, nine times out of ten. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But like seeing something like this shows you where... Maybe next time you change it to where you don't go after the ball because you need to stay back and make it make a defensive play. And maybe next time you see the the positive result of that, and then you keep on doing that, so then it just changes in your brain. Um, so hopefully that would be the end goal, I guess. Again, Cowboy Kyle, I think you would be an excellent student of the game. Uh, before we go, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask. Two more things. I know you play a lot of Heroes of the Storm, but do you, do you think that we're going to see you back on the pitch? Um, I would love to actually start playing more in the Rocket League. I think Rocket League is it's such a fun game to just sit and play. You get that adrenaline of, you know, you score a goal and there's like 10 seconds left and it's the game-winning goal. Like, nothing feels better. Like, it's still just, it has that moment and that's, I haven't played a lot of Rocket League, like we said, in 11, 10 to, 11 to 12 hours, whatever. But you still just get that rush, and there's not many games on the market that do that. And, uh, no, I would love to actually put more time into actually playing Rocket League. 1,200 hours in, I still have that feeling every time I hit a game-winning shot, game-tying shot, whatever. Um, and then the second question, which is uh, part of the reason why I'm glad that you're here, because... As you just said, you don't play a lot of Rocket League, but you do play a lot of other games. And currently, right now, I believe you just hit Twitch Affiliate, correct? Yes, I did. And so, like I said, I play a lot of different games. Um, I'll play anything from World of Warcraft, Heroes of the Storm, PUBG, Apex Legends, you know, in between, Monopoly, you know what I mean? Like, I just play everything. You know, I'm looking forward to, like, Mortal Kombat coming out, like, fighting games. Like, I dabble in a little bit of everything. Um, I'm not great at everything, you know, but I enjoy playing them. And I try to do the best I can at what I'm playing. I think you're unbelievably entertaining on it. Recently, I watched you play the division two, uh, and, and it looked like a blast. Um, and possibly I will be joining that monopoly stream. I hear it's pretty cutthroat. So big thank you to you, Kyle. Thank you. What we're going to do, I'm going to cut away and I'll give everyone my final thoughts. Seventh episode is in the books. Cowboy Kyle 216 was a blast to play with. He really was. Cowboy Kyle took an enthusiastic approach to Rocket League and had a great mindset for learning. 
which was fantastic to see for someone with a limited amount of time. My three takeaways from Cowboy for all of us. Number one, get comfortable with those camera settings. Uh, find what works best for you. Number two, find your Rocket League play style, but get comfortable doing everything. It will come in handy at some point. And number three, positioning is so, so important in Rocket League. We hear Kyle talk about it a few times in the video, and the only thing that's really going to influence this is just play time and mechanics. So, make sure to check out Cowboy Kyle 216's Twitch, which will be linked below. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If there's anything you want to talk about, comment and I will get back to you. Subscribe if you want to see more, because I'm not saying this is the number one Rocket League decision-making show on YouTube, but it might be in the top one. Take care.